All right, if the DJ would just shut up, I could get this song on this cassette with this amazing mix that I'm building and I could throw in my car and listen to. It would be awesome. What's wrong with that? What do you mean it's piracy? What a bunch of bullshit. You wouldn't download a car. I would if I could. This is United A-Holes, a video cast discussing cultural topics with no filter. Welcome back to Area 41, Lars Ulrich's favorite spot on the internet. <laughs> so uh, I got to introduce, we got a new guy sitting here. His name's John Morris. John's a good friend of ours. And What's his real name? Momo. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mo. a few weeks ago, you and I were talking about something and you just slipped out a, a comment about piracy and pirates stealing content off the internet. I figured this would be a great platform for us to all thrash about the, the piracy discussion so what could possibly go wrong <laughs> <laughs> so just to clarify and maybe maybe you're, you've had a change of heart if you had it's going to be credit roll here very very quickly <laughs> you think that downloading content illegally from the internet is wrong i do can you espouse as to your point and argument <sighs> probably not as concisely as i'd like to given you know like right now <laughs> the most perfect thing that's but, our format yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think as a uh, as a content creator, which I'd like to remind all of you folks that you're exactly the same sort of thing. You're creating content for the purposes of you know hoping that it gets consumed, and, um, and I think from a from a content creation standpoint, um, if there's an expectation to you a return and value for for what it is that you're doing, and it's important to say if there's an expectation for you that that's why you're doing this, right? You know, it's an artistic endeavor. It's it's whatever you think that it has some sort of commercial value or or uh, monetary value, then uh, you should be able to pursue that and. Um, years ago that was you know a fairly common thing that's what you would do um and and i don't mean to speak neg negatively against like streaming services or things like youtube you know which are designed as a business model to give people an avenue to get their their product out there right but when it comes to say well, wait a minute no i'm in this because this is what i do this is the living that i want to make and i've worked hard enough to make sure that the product that you know that I'm delivering actually has value that it should be able to monetize, um, you should be able to do that, and that doesn't um, mean that anyone's entitled to consume your efforts uh, for nothing. That's okay. a hard one to argue. Let's strip. That this was apart. way too well spoken for this show. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know how the hell we're. Where's the mic? I'll drop it. You're, you're, you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> He's in well, the same band. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I hit things with sticks, right? <laughs> so, so the keyboards are like the best thing ever. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's why, why he I'm wants. Yeah, that's what, more than you know. I suppose he's using all ten of fingers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. hand fisting it. Still he's like twenty points. <laughs> you said hand. True, <laughs> true. Good point. Still a percussion instrument. Look yeah. at that. Oh, yeah. that's true. At least a, a, a real piano is. It's, it's I would argue that the, the, the Hammond is a wind instrument. <laughs> well, Lord knows what that thing is. First first synthesizer ever, that's yeah, for sure. It's an awesome instrument. Yeah. Um, so, I'll stay back on this one for a few minutes because I need to really put my head together. So I'm going to be an asshole and throw it at Brent and say, can you argue in the favor of piracy? Because I know you do download things. Yes, yes. Um, so my, my counterpoint would be that I have downloaded somebody that somebody has said to me, you should check out this band, or I've heard a song on an ad. I'll use Imagine Dragons, perfect. Watched an ad for a video game, and uh, what was the name of their first big hit? Uh, Radioactive. Radioactive. Yeah. Radioactive is playing in the background, and I'm like, this game looks amazing, but who, who the hell is that? That sounds absolutely like different. It's fantastic. I love it. So I did some searches, found it, downloaded what they had available, and then my kids get like, oh, this is really good. Like the whole family was right in to Imagine Dragons, and I've bought CDs. We've bought CDs for my son for Christmas. Uh, we have invested in this band from that one 
illegal download. I, well, it wasn't illegal. But it what was, was illegal. the download? So the, that initial download that you're talking about, it you came, did, was it via came what? from a streaming site that... that Which means that artist had provided that content to you with the no, expectation no, 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 that it was no, 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 Sorry, I said streaming. I misspoke. I didn't mean streaming. Uh, peer, peer, peer to peer. Peer to peer point. Uh, I got it from somebody else. Oh, and went, okay. these guys are so good. But just speaking for myself, that's what I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, you sample thing, then pay. The, yeah, the same thing with uh, the Pretty Reckless. Yep. Found out about them, downloaded some, and went, okay, I I need to go find some Pretty Reckless and buy a CD or a T-shirt or whatever. I do the CD thing because I have a collection and I'm a you know a thousand years old and still collect CDs. So <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> that. And I mean, <laughs> I can't even I can't even put them in the Jeep because it it's got so much dust in it now that it scratches them. I need to clean it up. Oh, there might be a little but, dust on the bottle. So I mean, that's and and going back to the eighties, like I still have mixed tapes. In oh, me too. I, I did, like, yeah, I did that, that as well. That right? that's always, but that was always but that's still piracy. But, well, yes, it, it, and again, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm, you know, as pure as a drip of snow, too. I mean, um, no. I've stolen a lot of <laughs> software, I mean, which is a whole other way to take this kind of discussion, I mean, over yeah. and above music, right? But, um, yeah, I understand exactly what you mean, where I was getting albums that were purchased by other people. But the point is they had been purchased, so, you know, the, the yeah, content yeah. itself had been bought. Going the artist the had been remunerated for, yeah. you know, for the effort that yeah. they had done. And I'm, you know, a 12-year-old pimply kid wanting to have the latest Do- Doobie Brothers album because my <laughs> older brother's or older friend's brother had the album. So we stole it from him when we recorded it. I mean, yeah. I, I get it. I mean, and, and what you're saying about um, being able to get access to the music to be able to say, you know, I really like these guys. Yeah. Now I'm going to give them money. That's a, that's a very, you know, that's a great, honorable thing for you to say. How many people do that? Not, Not that many. many. No, people right? download and they So, don't. you know, the only, from a musical standpoint now, anyway, it, the only mechanism, and you know this as, as well as I do, we, we've been through it, uh, to make any money it, it's the actual performances that you do it's it's the work and it's going out and doing the, the, the album sales are not part of that component anymore unless you're here yeah. and yeah, like, there are a lot of really good musicians in no, this spot fun. right here here's right? a prime example as of Friday August 2nd Tool released their entire catalog to all the streaming services okay they have outshadowed everybody in basically launch so that to them right now it's like being the number one hit all over again because they've just exploded all over the internet everywhere and they're the number one streamed on apple number one streamed on google number one streamed on spotify number one streamed on blah 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 blah, blah. and they're raking in the cash relatively much less than it would have been if you had a number one cd back in the day because the paper stream is pretty this low. is the day and that's how you do that right, now, right? so they, they so peaked again that leads to a conversation we were having off camera that i was going to bring up so ken gave me the first three cds by tool so i could sort of get introduced to them but again i don't want to ruin his cds by putting them in the jeep and that's where i listen if i'm going to go listen to something by myself which is how i want to kind of do this i've still have the cd sitting on my desk at home going well what am i i don't want to bring them back go great thanks and they're full of scratches and dust so I'm like how am I going to get this put them in your computer so that I could but that would be that's the illegal. same as illegal downloading but now you're just listening me, to them through your computer speaker no I want to I don't want to put them on something to take them a Jeep but if you're telling me that they're available on and I'll have to check and Google see Google Play YouTube Music Spotify, if they're on YouTube Music they are because I've got my free trial going on can I download to a device and stream it Yes, yes. Okay, so then I could take the entire first album and listen to one, two, three, four, five. That's my other complaint, is listening to an album the way it was supposed to be versus sometimes doesn't work because they don't go <coughs> zero, one, zero, two, zero, three. Well, and I would argue that Tool's first album will still be difficult because I bet they did not release 69 tracks because <laughs> after track 10... After track 10, it skips down through and plays a one-second song that is silence up until the number 69 and plays the hidden track at the end. So you're going to lose that experience without hearing it. The hidden track is at the end of the last track, though, in Google Play. 
Oh, cool. So yeah. it is kind oh, of buried, okay. but okay. it's just done differently. Nine Inch Nails did the same thing on Broken. Yeah, there were 99 tracks of silence. Oh, okay, it's I don't know. If and he then did two his, songs. Yeah, sorry. I don't know if he did this different. Try, I'd have to go back. There's Rob Zombie did it on House mm -hmm. of a Thousand Corpses. The you, one that got you away for me. Yeah. Weird. Sounds like a record still playing, oh, and you're like, cool. what the hell? And it just keeps going, and it goes on for a long period of time, and then a song plays, which is just a short, cool. and it's absolutely The one that got amazing. away on me, and it was only only ever worked on one of my devices, but the band 311 released an album called Transistor. 93, 94, somewhere in there. And on the CD, it was had indexing. Remember CD indexing? Where the initial track index, so you go into a song, and then you could index segments of the song as a numeric value. But indexing could be negative. So it's a good time for music nerds, I think is what we're kind of saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the, the problem is they never made this part of the release digitally, but on the original CD, if you put it in and then press the index backwards button, there was a hidden song before the first song that was three minutes long. It was wow. you awesome. backed up past yes. the beginning. Wow. That's yeah, really so cool. it dropped in first, but then there was an index track before it. So, and so don't it, ask how I discovered did it, it. Did it, it sweep a, around and play that when you got to the end? No, you had to go. You find had to it. know it was there. That's, That's pretty cool. cool. I like stuff like that. Those little Easter eggs yeah. are awesome. So it was before the the first track started to play. It was uh, indexed in negative time. I'm I'm feeling a a, a need to refocus the conversation. Right say if you fanboys are done, we could get back <laughs> to the song. Yeah. So Ryan or Josh, I guess I should go to Josh. I, I went to no, Brent. No, 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 go to Ryan. Yeah, yeah he does he, he's pissed pissed music. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> so soon as though we're done talking about music, which you don't do a lot of. I, yeah, I don't do much. Well, and, and not to interrupt, but that's important because piracy isn't just about music. That's what I was going to bring up. Right, so, I mean, it's, it's about all kinds of... Uh, in, in your mind, right? piracy, black and white, it's black. <clears throat> or white or white <laughs> let's see. I'm not going to you know set myself up with a black or white answer yet okay. I'm saying, please go on so, <laughs> who works in management I'll take John for $100 please Alex <laughs> so there is no scenario where you think piracy is a useful positive tool if we're defining piracy as consuming the content or consuming the product product of someone else without paying for that or providing any benefit to the to the producer of that content, then yes. So in a scenario, and I'm going to go to television, mm -hmm. where content is not provided in your area legally in any form, you have no rights to go find it and get it yourself, no matter how much you want to support the people that put out that content. You're not allowed to watch that show. It's not available in your country. Yeah. Prime examples back in the day, way back when, Top Gear UK. Exactly. I pirated that show because it was not available in any other method or means. To the point where I even wrote the BBC and asked if I could subscribe to their iP iPlayer, their, their cloud service that streams all the content. And they said, no, you have to be a resident of the UK to get that service. Wow. Because it's subsidized. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, where I would default to is, you know, I have a hard time saying, well, no, to to your statement. And where I would kind of fall back on is um, uh, the con whoever produced that content is still getting paid for that content in spite of the fact that, it, you know, we can't get it in Canada. Right. Right? Okay. So, so you've heard about that. I, so, there, you know, okay. <laughs> that is, um, you've just been uh, Ryan. Now, uh, let's, let's go to the next step. Okay. Piracy as a means You're of marketing. I see it in the face. I've seen this in other episodes. I'm trying to win oh, the biggest nice. asshole award that's currently on Facebook, <laughs> although it's probably going to be over by the time this airs. So <laughs> now I'm just being an asshole. It, it might be an election. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can extend the poll if we want to. <laughs> but uh, the question would be back to using piracy as a form of market feedback. Mm -hmm. I do not pirate, but. If I did, hypothetically speaking, <laughs> he's like OJ. <laughs> the glove don't fit. The glove don't fit. <laughs> I want the content. I'm willing to pay for the content, but not the amount that they want to charge me. Mm -hmm. Am I to absolutely just cannot take that content, or could I pay for some of it, watch all of it? Well, and you know, you might think my response to be slightly hyperbolic, but that's hyperbolic. Uh, Don't but, be persnickety. 
You know, <laughs> is how is that any different than you walking into a car dealership and say, I want to pay $20,000 for that truck and you want to sell it for $60,000, so I'm just going to take it because I don't agree with your price. If I left a vehicle behind when I took that one, absolutely I'd do it because they do not lose. Well, you're providing some had. sort of financial transaction and just saying that. That's, when you steal it, you don't leave a car behind. Exactly, but in media you do. Zeros and ones are not cars. Right. I'm not taking a physical product away from somebody else. You and I both want that track. You're going to pay for it. I only want to pay a little bit because less. Because it's ones and zeros and not a physical right. thing. Right. I'm but not stopping the, the manufacturing. I'm not stopping no, them but from you, selling that to the next person. You have stopped a sale of that product. Only to me. Only to you. Right. And if there's 8 billion other people just like you, that's yep. a pretty poor argument to make. Except if there's a billion people pirating, that company needs to know that their product isn't worth that and they need to fix it. So... Stealing software, I'm going to use that as an example, sure. right? Um, and I know well, personally very well some folks that produce uh, very, very high plugins, high quality plugins for uh, uh, digital audio workstations. Uh, the amount of work that these people put into, you know, where you might perceive that as some large company of a whole bunch of developers, where really it's only one guy in his basement who's producing stuff that's better quality than Waves or anything else mm. you can get out there. And he's constantly getting cracked because I think people are making the same sort of logical uh, uh, assumption uh, along the same lines is what you just said. And this guy who's brilliant and produces some of the best friggin' software I've ever seen to start. This is going to be my asshole comment of the episode. If he's so fucking brilliant, then why does he develop some anti-piracy technology? To make himself- <laughs> you know what? And that's a perfectly fair statement. But at the same time, that, it, why it, it doesn't really he is. adjust yep. to the market? I, I'm adjusting to the market in his case with basically saying, recognize the value of my intellectual property and sell it to somebody who can appropriately market it, which I think would probably go back into your camp of what you're saying. Sure. Right. Yeah. Or uh, using your example from previous weeks, you put out an album put a price on it, nobody bought it, put it out as pay what you want, and you made way more money. That's true. Right? And and because that's a fundamentally different business model that exists. If you want to accept that business model, go ahead. Right. Do that. Right? So I guess my stipulation was, like you said earlier, there are these musicians at the top that are making tons and tons of money. Uh, Jay-Z, Beyonce, the M&Ms of the world. With with the new um, uh, business models and distribution sure. systems. Or yes. even the old ones, right? Uh, not so much. Not and really. there's, this, <laughs> there's this large area of great musicians who aren't getting paid. So isn't the system broken? Yeah, well, I would the system right the now, system. the system right now, I would argue, is worse than the previous model of piracy plus CD sales. The streaming market is worse. As an entry-level musician, if you're the big guy and people are all using Apple, blah, 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 you're, you're rolling in it. Yeah. If people just want to hear what's already on the radio, they can pull that up on their phone, play it, and that guy still gets his 0.1 cents per every play. And when you multiply that across millions of people every day of the year, they're getting good money. But you take some obscure independent artist or even an entry-level start-off, even some of the stuff you hear on the radio, some of those bands don't break... 10,000 plays. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's 10 bucks. You know, how are you supposed to fund your next recording for $10? You know, yeah. Especially if you're not, you know, already have your own recording equipment. If you're paying a producer and, a, you know, a studio and, and all that stuff. And you renting need to have gear. somebody nab you and take you on tour like the Rolling Stones or somebody like that. Right. So and that's where the money is. So yeah. in, in all reality right now, if you're a starting off independent recording artist, the recording is your marketing tool for your show. Which goes back to your point. The performance is where the money's at right now. Yeah. And it's still not a lot of money. Uh, no, and it, you could still, it, it's also the amount of work that you put into that. I mean, for instance, we could have registered all of our songs as SoCan and followed up with that. And every time we performed them in a bar somewhere, we could apply for royalties and get them. Right. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, if you're willing to go of, and do, those, do that amount of work. I it's could do like a whole episode on SoCan. Yeah, my, exactly. My, my hatred for them. Yeah. But, Stay tuned. <laughs> it will be coming. Yeah. Um, what's your take on piracy, Kendall? Um, I got to remember to go back to Josh too. Josh hasn't got to kick at the can. There's just something lacking when 
you are given a flash drive or a disc with magic marker on it that, you know, for me, like, especially for music, when I'm a music collector, I collect music, and I got to have the liner notes. I have to have, okay, you know, the... But in the modern streaming era, that doesn't exist. You, yeah. you bought the cassette in the 80s, and you bought the CD in the 90s. You bought the LP one, in the early you 10s. Bought the, uh, yeah, you bought the LP in the Stone Age. That's kind of ironic. You've got three copies of this. You just want to be able to listen to it on your phone, in your car, whatever. I just really like this particular album, just this one particular song. And you have to buy it a fourth time. You're a collector. How does that make you feel? I, there's some albums I have seven, eight different copies of. That's from the collector point of view, though. I'm talking about listening to it. David Bowie. Yes. What, what would be a one of your... I couldn't ask you for the top one because that would be impossible, but what stands out for an album by Bowie? Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> okay, let's dance. I'm going to let, pick let's, one let's for you. Let's get then. off the music for a minute because I think that's the wrong audience. Okay. You went and saw a movie in the theater and you paid $15 to see it. Now you get home and you want to watch it again, but you can't. You could pirate it. You've already paid for the right to view it. Why not view it more than once? There aren't a lot of movies, actually, that I watch twice anymore. Because there's too much content to watch, right? Could be attention span, too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I, I know exactly what he's saying, though. Like, I did pay for the right to see, to see something, but they're saying that, that I have to you pay didn't buy every You didn't buy time. a copy of the movie, though. No, yeah. I bought the right to see it. Once. Once. Right. Yeah. But they're saying only once. Yeah. I'm saying it should be more than once. Why? Well, right? So that's where the piracy comes in. Sure, yeah. So would... I'm would not you, trying to not be a supporter. I'm trying to get more value for my money. Would you pay another couple of bucks if your ticket stub had a code on it that you could go to a website and have a digital copy for yes uh, and a, i've done a, that a year there uh they actually had to shut it down but i forget the name of it there was a blu-ray media thing where if you bought the physical copy they gave you a code and you got the electronic copy. Yeah, they, they, they still, still do that. that well that's coming back to your argument about you know where i i brought up walking into a car dealership and you say well we're not buying a physical thing we're talking about ones and zeros so if, if you come back to that um, you've provided a couple of arguments where, you know, the basis is really, well, I paid for it once, so it doesn't matter if I get it some other way after that. And I think in terms of the physical thing, you know, changing hands, that, that makes sense. But it doesn't make all of those other mechanisms as a way of giving it to you for nothing disappear. It works for you because you can justify it that way to say, well, I provided some sort of uh, remuneration back to the, to the content producer. With my argument, it's satisfied. You've done that. So now I can take advantage of all the other legal ways to get that content in different media. Fine. But those other channels that are all there work perfectly fine for never paying for it in the first place. So it works for you, but it doesn't justify the whole mechanism, you know, as, as a whole, right? He uses big words. <laughs> I don't know what any of them mean. But by that, by that logic... They should outlaw coat hangers because they are also used to look, steal cars. I mean, it's great because you want to hang your clothes on them, but because leader. they're being used as a, Yeah, it's, it's called... Have you not watched the show before? <laughs> <laughs> Wait till I get the asshole hands out. The Randy Candy. The Randy Candy. Well, I think we've gone around. <laughs> no, I'm good. No. Why do you keep making a big deal about me? Well, I, actually, I was actually right. going to say you're probably the least pirate person I've met. I pay. You bought a lot you of You haven't media. seen his eye patch? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong I, I pay monthly for a music streaming service. Um, if there's a band I like and they're on Bandcamp, I'll buy their album if I, you know, well, I guess I would, I'll take it back because I have a streaming. If they're on streaming, I listen to them on streaming. If they're, if they're a Fredericton band that released an album on Bandcamp and I like them, I'll buy it from them. And, you know, I don't really share it. I don't mm. send you the album or anything. 
I don't really pirate a lot. Um, I have in the past, you know, torrented like a movie. Um, you know? <laughs> movie you'd seen previous? Sure. Yeah. yeah. So you've already paid for I don't it. agree with Ryan's argument in that sense, though. So. Oh, I don't either. Yeah. If there's a way for me to easily pay for it, and it's not an exorbitant, exorbitant, a big price. <laughs> <laughs> you got her, buddy. I'll do, I'll pay for it, and that'll be you know that'll be my copy. Um, but if you're not on streaming, or if you're not, I don't like if if I can't see it, you know, it, it needs to be cost effective. It, it's it's got to be easy and, and yeah, yeah. And if it isn't, if it isn't, I will resort to torrent, which is exactly my point. No, no, I know. Okay. But you, I, I didn't agree with you in saying that you going to see it in the movie theater entitled you to get a copy of it. For the rest of your I didn't life. say entitled. I said that was my thing. Well, you and sounded entitled. Sorry. I am entitled. <laughs> I wasn't trying to come off. <laughs> no, I guess not. What pisses me off about music streaming is, like, we'll use Amazon, for example. Amazon Music. Great. No, no, you can't stream this song. You need to go... Amazon Music Unlimited. Uh, I mean, so there's two where do they, yeah, where do they make the distinction? Well, that's, I, a, that's not an argument against music streaming. That's an argument against Amazon. Apple Music, Deezer, Spotify, Google, uh, Tidal, all, the all them. No, you pay one fucking price, you get the whole fucking catalog. There's no, you either got to do the free one where you get in, in, incepted with ads every three songs, which is overwhelming, or you pay them their $9.99 or $11.99 a month and you drink from the water hose. Google Play Music was 100% one of the best purchases I've ever made. And, and for what it's to... worth, they pay back the best to artists. So yeah. It's amazing. What they about, pay back. Compared to YouTube Music now? I've never YouTube. actually so used So, yes, it. YouTube Music. Uh, I'll, 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 I know we're over over time, but I'll, I'll tell you how this works. So, Google had Google Play. Still exists. They haven't shut it off yet because there's functionality that they've given to us that, they don't, that other streaming services don't offer. You can upload 50,000 tracks of your own material from your own library up to the cloud to only be consumed by you. It's not sharing it with anyone. So, you know, your, your, your Bandcamp purchases could be put to Google Play yeah. and played from any device that you own streamed. Through the Google Play app. Right. Totally. And nice. it's treated just as a, any other, other album. To you, it's every yeah. other album. It's just I can't share it with you if you don't have it in your library, right? right? Okay. So, because it's private material <clears throat> at that point. You have your own private library. Um, Google decided about two years ago that they were going to try to merge strictly because of licensing fees. So paying BMG and Sony Music and all of them got real expensive and they already have a streaming service called Google Play. But because YouTube, a lot of people were watching the music video, minimizing the screen, letting the audio play in the background, yeah. that the music companies went, wait, they're using us as a streaming service. They're using that as a streaming service. You got to pay the same licensing fee there. So Google... YouTube, whoever, decided, well, we're going to merge the two. So they started YouTube Music as a new streaming service. But they haven't integrated all the stuff that us grandfathered in people got with Google Play yet. Is that the end goal, though? That's the end goal. Okay. And their goal is to so give us all that functionality. That, that app I've got is only going to get better. Right. <coughs> Where what I'm used to and what Josh is used to is gradually going to get Kind of less what I want. Less what we want, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get left in the dust. I mean, we, we are being told, move to YouTube Music. You get it automatically now. If you have yeah. Google Play, you automatically get YouTube Music. Okay. So How much is it? $9.99 for the base package. You pay the extra $3, you get YouTube ad-free, <laughs> which is awesome. So now I watch all my YouTube, no, no commercials. It's amazing. Yeah, I do too. I don't play. Uh, I don't pay for that, though. <laughs> pirate. <laughs> Not even pirate it. It's a free software. <laughs> That's a whole other discussion. Right? <laughs> Ad blocking. Oh, anyway, but yeah. So so there's all these services. Amazon is absolutely. And I'm sorry, Jeff Bezos. Whatever your streaming service sucks. I tried Being Amazon. Sorry. I'm not. <laughs> Amazon, Amazon, <laughs> Amazon Music Prime or whatever they call it is garbage. And their premium Prime plus Amazon, whatever the hell they call that, is a ripoff. And they're starting to do it with their video now, if you haven't noticed, in the last three days. 
they added Showtime Plus and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And for an extra twelve ninety five a month, you can get all this other stuff that's now showing in your Amazon Prime video subscription. So it's all greed now. Oh, they're, yeah. they're, they're trying to go to basically a cable subscription service is what they're trying to do. They've added uh, Global yeah. TV is another one they added on Amazon Prime Canada. So you go in and it's there and it's always showing. Show us from under showing and then click on it. It's like, hey, you got to pay us another 30 bucks oh, a month. Oh, man. What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As opposed to just showing you what you've already paid for, supposedly. So basically their $99 service is a free service and then their premium service is twelve ninety five a month. It's a ripoff. So. It would appear so. I don't mind downloading something if it's no longer available. I have done that too. Yeah, if you can't get it anymore, yeah. don't have a supplier that has access to it. Yeah, it's out of print, yeah. or you know. Wait, 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 wait! You just said. What? Can I download sex with my wife? Uh, we'll talk about it after. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs>